Hi everyone, how are you doing? Kamal here and I welcome you all to the first hands-on video of Windows 10 Mobile Build 10166. Build 10166 has been released yesterday to Windows Insiders in the first ring. And uh, while well, this build does not bring too many changes, there are obviously some minor UI changes. One of the most visible changes is like this people tile, uh, which was not present on any of my devices with Build 10149, while many people got it. So uh, now this build is... Uh, available on uh, both of my devices so you can see, see the animation in action apart from that if you talk about UI changes then you can see this file explorer now has got a new icon but uh, again apart from that if we try we go on uh, start screen you will not see any change there is one interesting and unique feature that we just uh, found out while doing a hands-on with this build so if you double tap here you can collapse the action center and double tapping will obviously expand the action center. Tap to collapse, double tap to expand. Good news is that swipe down to expand action center still works, but now you have a pretty cool way to actually collapse it as well. So I think this feature was obviously unlisted. Talking about other changes like this battery saver has got a new icon here that you can see. So this is one of the changes. Apart from this, if we talk about animations, then there are like bit of changes in the animation as well. So opening any app is now different. Earlier, I mean the animation that was seen in build 10149 has been like, uh, I think it had changed a bit. One of thing, one of the things that uh, has gone missing actually, and that is the bad news is that uh, the landscape UI that we were so happy about is now cannot be seen on uh, at least Lumia 540. So uh, maybe we'll uh, try it on Lumia 640 XL and we'll report. But now for now it's missing actually. So you can uh, see how the animation works here. Okay, and uh, talking about the first impression, the build is very stable while you can face some issues while updating, which we have already reported in our installation experience. So you may have to soft reset and, uh, you know, just do uh, install twice or thrice maybe. But once it gets updated, all the things work fine. I mean, it has, uh, most of the things were working fine since build 10149, but the build is quite smooth. We have not faced any crashes or freeze till the time we have, uh, you know, just like updated to build 10166. So that uh, tells a lot about this build. Uh, but still, obviously, as we uh, always say that it's much better to, you know, put the build in use for a few days and then, uh, you know, then give a feedback. But uh, first impressions really uh, remain quite positive. Build is fast, looks stable, smooth. So obviously, I can recommend this for your main device. But if you really want to wait, then wait for some days and uh, we will come back with our detailed feedback, detailed review. So uh, keep keep watching our videos and uh, be, uh, I mean, be tuned for the next video that we will post for Build 10166. Thanks for watching.